हेलो फ्रेंड्स एंड वेलकम टू अनदर एपिसोड ऑफ इंडस्ट्री वॉच ऑन द प्लग इन इंडिया चैनल दिस इज वेर वी गिव यू न्यूज एंड एनालिसिस अबाउट द ईवी इंडस्ट्री व्हाट्स हैपनिंग व्हाट्स गोइंग ऑन अप डाउन गुड बैड सो ओला इलेक्ट्रिक हैज बीन डिलीवरिंग स्कूटर्स टू थाउजेंड्स ऑफ ओनर्स ओवर द पास्ट फाइव मंथ्स एंड द डिलीवरीज हैव बीन हैपनिंग सो फास्ट दैट ओला इलेक्ट्रिक एज ऑफ मे सेकेंड ट्वेंटी इज द थर्ड लार्जेस्ट इलेक्ट्रिक स्कूटर सेलर इन इंडिया The total number of scooters sold as per Vahan statistics, Okinawa is the leader with 36,000 units. Hero Electric comes in a close second with 35,000, and breathing down their necks is Ola Electric with 32,000 units sold already in just five months. In a matter of five months, they are nearing the two biggest competitors remaining. Remember, Hero Electric has been selling for more than a decade, and Okinawa has been selling scooters for more than five years. it's a it's just a matter of time before ola electric will be india's leading uh, electric scooter seller just for kicks let's take a look at tvs and bajaj they have sold 4700 and 6600 scooters this year so we are seeing how oats are absolutely demolishing bets bajaj and tvs the big ice mafia have a long way to go mr bajaj needs to do a lot more selling and a lot less talking 32000 units in 5 months how many will ola electric sell at the end of 2022 as per atul ji's recent factory visit they are manufacturing 5 to 600 units every day my estimate is that by the end of the year they will easily deliver more than 75000 s1 pros or the new cheaper s1s this is because their order books are full and they are selling everything they are making my estimate is conservative because i have a feeling the number of deliveries will slow down as we near the end of 22 so my theory for the slow down in the sales and deliveries is because one the fire incident that happened to one customer in pune they have not released any investigative report on this incident as of the 20th of may fires can happen in ice vehicles as well and in teslas once a thermal runaway happens it's difficult to control it this raises a lot of questions on the bms of the s1 pro's battery this also has got many owners we know to cancel their bookings second the anticipated slowdown in sales is that the customer issues are being highlighted in the medias like never before for example every software bug accident or other manufacturing issue is being amplified by the auto media sites like et auto car talk rushlin etc so also the mobile phone and finance websites like tech radar and money control are on it money control are an interesting case all these years they never bothered reporting ev issues but suddenly now they are targeting ola electric and giving gyan on ev is <laughs> as if suddenly they have turned into ev experts and every one of them over there has been driving evs and they know exactly what it is so this seems a bit suspicious to me the point here is that there is a concerted and organized media campaign against ola electric and it's doing its job very well this could result in lots of cancellations as people look at the headlines and make quick judgments that's how the world is so the third reason for my prediction of anticipated slowdown in sales for ola electric is because of ola electric themselves you see bhavish and the ola management are focused on innovation on scaling on investments on electric cars on cell manufacturing all of this is fantastic and much needed but the community feels that they are ignoring or not giving enough attention to certain issues and because these are good ev owners and customers these issues really need to be addressed first of customer service second customer education third is software engineering fourth manufacturing consistency and finally delivery communication where ola electric proudly says they have delivered scooter to more than 1000 pin codes i always had questions about customer service the problem is it is virtually impossible to keep all the customers happy with this dealerless model essentially there are ola service teams in major cities from there they branch out to smaller towns to take care of customers for example pune maharashtra has a service team it's easy to service pune city customers but this team also takes care of all nearby small towns like nashik amdanagar satara and another example there is a dedicated team in ludhiana punjab who takes care of customers in towns in patiala amritsar etc while this model may work when customer numbers are low we are beginning to see this service network getting stretched thin and to its limits consider these cases 
essentially what you are seeing here is that in some cases there are long rsa wait times in some cases service centers are keeping the customer vehicle for 20 plus days essentially they are not able to solve the issue or they have other priorities there needs to be serious investment in customer service organization or else this could spiral out of control as more and more scooters are being delivered hey bavish get your head of servicing to ramp up the service network to service the 1000 plus pin codes efficiently if you don't do that you will see more and more people going to twitter and complaining this will only give the hater media more ammunition to target ola electric second let's talk about customer education so let's take a look at the ola electric youtube channel or the website there is not even a single product education video or article something serious that you can bite your teeth into how to charge the s1 pro that's what could be done what are good charging habits what should customers do to balance the cells of the s1 pro's battery pack what are side stand parking tips how do we set up a safe charging point at home to charge the s1 pro how to fix tire punctures what precautions do we need to take in hot weather what precautions do we take in monsoons or rains how does an owner get a software update i know these are simple questions but these are the kind of things that people need to know understand the difference between ice and ev in my 2021 video i spoke about the lack of a moderated customer forum on the ola electric website 8 months down the line we still don't see any forum serious customer education happens in these forums and practically for free the fact that ola electric management has ignored this is mind boggling customers need an authoritative and a very precise answer to their queries this is what the forum which is moderated by people from ola who get their information from the engineers at ola who design the scooter it is very essential and this is also a great place to get feedback comments suggestions and even ideas this is called crowdsourcing <laughs> your innovation so let's have this happening bhavish please allocate 10% of your pr and marketing budget into this education and you will see that it will make a 110% difference this will help many customers let your customers do the marketing for you there is nothing like word of mouth marketing and education and this is where you can make it happen so third let's go on to software engineering in my 2021 video i spoke about how ola electric needs to invest in a strong software team from our interactions with our owner groups and looking at the software bugs being reported there is an overwhelming sense that the software is not refined and tested extensively this has resulted in all sorts of strange bugs being reported by the community there have been soc and range drops forward and reverse modes have been interchanged and many more niggling problems have come up some of them are dangerous and should not happen on a road worthy vehicle many of these issues are fixed by the ola electric team If you are an owner, ensure you get 1.0.16 software update of the upcoming Move OS 2.0 update, which has these fixes. But we keep seeing strange new software bugs being reported by the community. So whenever the Move OS 2.0 software update comes out, we know many owners in the community are afraid to get that update. We have no idea what new bugs will creep in. software updates have to give you those warm exciting diwali christmas eid morning feelings not feelings of terror hey bavish please get your software team managers to take more responsibility the entire team should use the scooter with beta software for many months also they should work with external testing agencies before pushing out major releases to customers you don't want customers to do the testing and bug reporting for you point number 4 manufacturing consistency so the name says it all panel gaps during deliveries are most obvious issues pointed out but there are other inconsistencies as well that need attention like clicking sounds from the handle sixth delivery communication so this has been one of the big issues and pain points especially because the deliveries have been ramped up so much in the last 6 months essentially customers have no clue on where the scooter is during the process of registration and delivery the mobile app just says the scooter is out for delivery but then there is no update or communication to the customer in some cases the delivery happens fast in some cases it takes more than a month so guys we conducted a poll uh, this is not just us we wanted to get some very 
clear and sure numbers. So a sample set has answered our poll results on all the Ola Electric community forums and all our EV community users. And we asked them a few questions. And uh, here's the first one. So how do you rate Ola Electric's customer service? So uh, there were three levels given. Absolutely amazing, mediocre and very poor. A whopping 39%, 38.7% say, say they are very poor. Followed by 44% mediocre, which is about 80%, 84% of people saying that the service is way below power. Pa. And there are 16% which say that it was amazing. Possibly these are the odd ones out. So this definitely needs to be improved. The entire customer service experience needs to be paid attention to because what else is a customer if not there for the experience of buying a product from you. The product itself of course needs to be great which we will address in the next poll questions. How do you rate Ola Electric's customer education efforts? So <laughs> this is unbelievable. 75% of people have said what education? There is none. And only 25% say that I am okay with the S1 Pro manual. They can improve but it's fine for it's fine for now. <laughs> so even the ones who are agreeing are saying that there needs to be more done in terms of proper customer education. Uh, we've asked them how is the software engineering that you've experienced with the Ola electric scooter and I'm very sorry to say but most of the people have said that there is a lot of scope for improvement. 17% actually say horrible. The highest marker is 23 at mediocre. Nobody, absolutely nobody, 0% have said excellent or 5 out of 5. So that's definitely something that needs to be worked on and pronto. <laughs> uh, the next question was, were you happy with the quality of S1 Pro's manufacturing and consistency of the finish of the product? Here again, we have bad news. 55% uh, of people say it had major minor issues during delivery and a good 12% say that they had major issues. So there's only a small 32.4% of people who had absolutely no issues with their scooter or did not bring up any issues. Uh, so it should have been the other way around, you know, at least and possibly 100% no problems. But this is very sad. It needs to be improved upon. Despite the amazing sales, this is something that really needs work. Ola Electric's communication during delivery, your thoughts. And again, we've got 33% with very bad, 23.5% uh, saying average and 42% are saying excellent. My RTO OTP was done one day and, and, and soon after I got my delivery. So very few actually sailed through the process. Most of them had issues. They may be on various fronts and sides, but communication needs to happen. And people need to be told why their vehicles are being held up, where they are being held up. That gives them some pause and they get a better experience out of it. Uh, then we have a whole bunch of suggestions that have been given to the Ola Electric Management. And that is what we have reflected to you in the entire video, which we just went ahead. So we are putting the link to this poll in the description below. Please, if you work for Ola Electric, if you are a concerned customer, if you have some know-how or if you just want to know, go ahead, click on the link and find out what exactly was said. So here you have it, Ola management team. I have shared the sentiment of the Ola owner community with you. It is up to you to take this feedback and keep working on it because as Bhavish said in the Mumbai meetup where Kamlesh had attended, that this is how you improve. You take your feedback from your customers and you try your best and you make it work. So go ahead and make this work. So we'd like to thank everybody on the Ola Scooter Club Telegram group. Wonderful community. We've been having a great time looking at all the interactions, such great help that people are providing to each other, that they're getting from the company, that this is the kind of vibrant, rich environment that we'd like to see our EV owners interact with. And they are really big hearted people to help each other out in this way. Bhavish, do take a note of this. This is the kind of community interaction that you want to promote, that you want to have happen. These are of course pioneers. So these are the ones who are willing to suffer a bit to promote the cause of EVs and Ola Electric to get something amazing coming into the market. 
the next batch is going to be a lot more critical a lot more serious and they are looking for a bang for the buck so we need to up the level up the scale i do hope that you found our feedback useful ola owners what do you think can ola electric deliver more than a lakh scooters by the end of the year do you agree with me or that the sales that the sales will taper soon do share your feedback if you found this video remotely helpful please hit that like button thank you for being with us and see you again next time